Welcome to another tutorial. As always, quick recap. To bring uh, texture to our project, just locate your texture and then drag and drop it into the project. After that, uh, to in order to apply to create new material, either select texture from the list or just to drag and drop it. Now let's apply texture to our ground. If uh, you want to adjust tiling, you can do that in uh, tiling options right here. Let's say three and three. Imagine you have this um, block and then you want to duplicate it. So how would you do that? At first, let's create an empty game object. Right click in the hierarchy and create empty. Let's make sure it's zeroed out. Let's call it a block. Select all our previously created objects and parent them to the block. Oops, I forgot the ground plane. And now uh, use Ctrl or Command D to duplicate. Press and hold Ctrl on PC and Command on Mac to enable snapping. Now we can perfectly move a block. Let's do it again. Our buildings, these two are too close. This building right here is too close to this building. In order to fix that, we have to manually move this for all the pieces. Obviously, this is not very convenient. And imagine we have uh, duplicated this like 50 times and then we have to go and change each of them. This doesn't make any sense. There is a better way of dealing with this. Unity has a powerful approach, which is called prefab. Prefab is basically a prefabricated game object. You can select any game object you want and then you can create a prefab out of it. The easiest way is just to drag and drop the game object from the hierarchy into the project. Let's do that. This blue cube means it's a prefab. If your view is uh, zoomed in like so, then you can zoom it out and then you will see a blue icon. Now notice that in the hierarchy, our game objects, they have changed color to blue as well. So for example, this main camera is in black font and then this block is blue now. And here we got this new prefab related buttons. You can select it. In the project, the um, origin prefab will be highlighted. You can revert and you can apply. So what does revert do? Imagine you have moved some objects or, or rotated them and then you want to fix things. So you select it and then you hit revert and the object will be reverted to its original prefab. Or if you want to update something, let's say we want to fix this building, we want to move it right here and then this one to be a little bit here as well. And maybe we want this one to be in here. So now if I select my block and then I hit apply, my prefab will be updated here as well. In order to place prefab in our scene, you can either just drag and drop it into the viewport, but then we don't have control where it will be placed. So better way to do that will be just to drag and drop it into the hierarchy directly. This way we have more control. You can also easily duplicate prefabs using Ctrl or Command D. Now, if we want to update one, for example, we want to take this building and then rotate it. We select prefab, we want to act as the origin and then we hit apply. And what you will notice is that all of the buildings have been updated in all of our prefabs. If you want to get rid of some of the objects, for example, this one, command delete, then you will receive this dialog saying that the break prefab instance. So if you continue, then uh, instance will be broken. So if you update any of the prefabs, this one will be ignored, but you still can revert it. So you can select this black game object and it still has the option of revert. Also, it has option of apply. If you hit apply, then that cube will be gone and all of these are blue again. 
prefabs is a very powerful way of uh, managing your game objects. It's one of the strengths of Unity.